welcome to the channel folks today's a good day because you guys have heard me talk about this i've shown it to you but we haven't opened the box yet and this is the london sunshine ceramic kamado charcoal barbecue grill that's right it has a ceramic insert uh it's supposed to grill sear you can smoke roast and even bake in this puppy right here it's fuel efficient uses charcoal or wood not gas so you're gonna get that good charcoal wood smoke flavor in your food and again it has a thick ceramic insert now i have to let's go ahead and open it up and see what tools i need to assemble it i don't think it's very difficult to assemble we're going to find out and i believe i chose the green color you know to match my roof of my house all right and right off of bat we got a little card that says i'm important let's open that up and yeah uh -huh. just a little card from them you know says says i'm special and we have these all oh, the instructions okay so we're gonna put that aside i'm gonna pull out this whole well i guess these parts have to come out looks like a great this looks like some legs Get all these parts out and i can determine what i need probably just a little wrench probably has it in there i don't know looks like some of these escaped Okay. I don't y'all gonna want to watch this whole video because at the end we are going to put on some baby back uh, boneless baby back ribs I'm gonna get them marinating and it's gonna be good I've got some Brussels sprouts squash that we're gonna put on the grill all right well these I'm gonna tell you these are some heavy-duty pieces of steel this ain't no cheap grill and we got the handles here nice wood handle it's got the company logo london sunshine there and don't know what that is yet make sure that i got all the parts out we're just going to go ahead and get everything out of the box and here's the goods oh my now this is a 13 inch grill and it's heavy all right let me make sure nothing else is in the box nope okay i'll put that right there so y'all can look at the picture and here we have it so basically we're just gonna put the parts together let me get this out of the packaging we'll get going on the assembly uh yeah i won't film me tearing this stuff off but let me show you the color and it's uh, like a hunter green, just like the roof of my cabin. Pretty nice. Looks like a big old golf ball, don't it? Yeah, now this these are great for, uh, you like to go to sports, games, tailgating, things like that. Perfect for that. You know, you're not going to cook a huge amount of food on this, but... I might make something out of that. I'm going to save that. Okay. Let me put my eyes on the pictures, and we'll come back, and we're going to assemble this. I probably won't film the whole assembly. I'll put it on a time lapse, and you'll get the picture there. But look at this. It has a really nice-looking temperature gauge. Ah, man, this thing is, from first glance, this thing is very, very, very well made. I mean, these ain't cheap cheap pieces on here all right let's get it let's get this thing put together
right, we got her all together. Let me tell you guys, that was pretty simple. They pretty much got it all laid out for you. You just fit where the, you know, the handles, where the holes are that line up. And I'm gonna say, man, is this, this is some very heavy duty cast iron. Very nice grill. I am, so far, I am impressed. And uh, there is a ceramic insert, and that is really heavy duty there. Usually these are cheap. And this grate here goes down in there. Now there's a little channel that you need to line up with the vent, which is in the front. Uh, if it's turned around the other way, you're probably not gonna get the proper airflow. So I cannot wait. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna burn a little charcoal in it. Uh, kind of give it a break in burn, uh, get any smells or whatever that could be in it from manufacturing. And uh, then we'll dump those coals out and we'll come and cook some food on it. All right, I'm gonna take this outside. I'm gonna find a tree stump to put it on so I don't have to bend over so far because my back is hurting from putting it together. That's just me though. But this is very simple, very simple to put together. And it's a real nice looking grill, man. Look at that. Look at that. You, I can't wait to smoke uh, like a pork loin or something in there. That's gonna be nice. Yeah, the London Such Sunshine Kamado Grill. Yeah, I'm gonna go light up some charcoal now, let it burn for a while, see what temperatures we get to. Then I'm gonna marinate the food. There you are. I'm gonna marinate those child or the ribs, and later on we're gonna cook, but that's only gonna be momentarily for you. You know, it's about 1 p.m. I'm not ready to eat. I wanna get good and hungry. All right, let me go fire up some charcoal in this, let it burn for a while and heat up. And uh, and then later on we're going to cook. So don't don't go anywhere. The fun part's beginning. Oh well, hello girls. Oh, you run at everything. All right. I conveniently got a uh, tree stump here. Let's go ahead and shut this in. Would you know it? It's starting to rain. So I like this setup, man. Somebody mentioned the other day when I was cooking out, why didn't I get the little torch? <laughs> Good idea, it was five feet from me. All right, let's go ahead and put this grate on there. Any kind of oils or whatever that may have come from the manufacturing process. Look at this seal, guys. That's pretty cool. All right, I got some good charcoal this time. I also got some mesquite ch or, uh, hickory chips. Uh, and this thing does not take very much charcoal. That's probably enough right there to cook a meal on. Yes, sir. Let me open the vent. There we go. Got full vent going. Okay. All right, look at this temperature, guys. We're at about 750 degrees and climbing, and the vents are open. Uh, it's still flaming in there. That's the good thing about these vents. You can close it. You still have a fire. As soon as I close the, I'm going to let that burn. See how hot we get. 800 degrees almost. I don't know what I can cook. That's good for searing. Tells you right there. Searing. Baking. I don't have my glasses. I can't read that. So we probably want our temperature around 350, 400, oh, grilling. 400 to 500. And we'll control that later with the vents. Awesome. Now let me show you another cool feature. 800 degrees, right? I could touch it. It's still hot. But uh, it's not going to send me to the hospital. Okay, I went ahead and closed the vent most of the way. I just got it open a little bit. And just a tiny bit here and you can see the temperature starting to drop i'm gonna love this grill guarantee you we might be cooking out every day all right i'm gonna let that go let it burn up real good in there oh look how blue that dude's getting uh-huh all right guys we'll leave it alone come back next time i come back i'll be throwing some food on there now I'm also going to fire up my other grill because I got a lot of, a lot of meat to cook, 
and I've got vegetables to cook and we'll cook some on there and we'll cook some on here but I just got too much to fit on here but I want to compare the taste I'm also going to put some hickory in there when I cook guys you cannot turn your back for one second on Clippy I mean I, I come out to clean up the packaging and the mess that I made putting the grill together and he's out here with his buddy you're not gonna believe what he thinks what what he thinks I bought him oh he thinks that's a table and that's a chair look at him and this one he's too little here we'll put you under the table yeah that way you don't get wet when it rains Clippy what are we gonna do with you man I tell you it is cool though that they sent him a little table I know all right folks it's time we are at about 450 degrees so let's go ahead and load these dudes on there these are marinated and zesty Italian liquid smoke uh, some seasonings Boy, there's some fat on that one ain't there I'm gonna put as many on here as I can get Probably overloading it. I got the other grill going for my vegetables. Yeah, that's, that's, I bet we can get one more in there. Boy, there is a lot of fat on these things. Well, that's all right. I didn't notice that. All right, let me shut the vent a little bit. Of course, the neighbors got to be making noises. Okay, we jump down. 300 degrees, it is quickly coming back up. All right. I would imagine it ain't gonna take very long at all. Let me open the vent. No, I had it all the way shut. And that temperature. This is not the best charcoal in the world, and I do got some hickory chunks in there. So hopefully I can get that temperature back up. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And it's climbing up. We want to get it in about in the middle there. 450 degrees would be good. Ah, that charcoal is terrible. It'll come back up. All right, we'll come back here in a bit. Ah, let's flip them over. Oh, yeah. Can't see. I like them crispy, so that's fine. Now, even though the temperature was at 300, it's still very hot in here, and I blew in it. It's just the charcoal. It's terrible, and it was the only bag on the shelf. That's the story, all the time. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it because you can see it ain't done in the middle so let's try to get some heat in there I still got the bottom one open up yeah it's open pretty good all right all right we're gonna paint it with a little bit of barbecue sauce oh yeah they're getting done now yeah I'm having the same trouble on the other grill with this charcoal. So I'm just gonna leave these on here a while. Well, they're looking good though. Oh yeah. Yeah, they are. I put some, uh, I took some pliers, pulled this whole thing out and put another piece of uh, wood in there. That's what I should have used entirely. Hickory. So she's starting to take back off. It's not the grill's fault, it's the charcoal. This is the only stuff I could get. All right. Now the marinade soaks into the meat 
and then this is just gonna add a little bit extra all right guys I just cut this fattest one in half and that is perfect look how juicy that looks I am ready to pull these off and dig in they are done all right next thing you see they'll be on my plate all right this rib is off of the old grill and this rib is off the Kamado I'm gonna taste the old first let me see here good a little tough Hmm. Oh, those are some good ribs. And rub that on some sauce. This is from the Kamado. Let me chew this one out first. Got my beans. My veggies. Yellow squash, Brussels sprouts, and mushrooms. I forgot to put onion in there. Alright. Now we're going to try this one. Wow, a lot more tender. Mmm, I can taste the hickory in that. I can't taste it in the first one. That's because it's so confined. I mean, it just puts that flavor in your food. Oh, wow, is that good. Mmm, it's gonna be hard to eat the other one now. Mmm, I can just, I can taste that hickory really good in that one. Not in that one. Mmm. I give that a win, guys. And if you're interested in one of these grills, they're on sale. I had to wait till today because they go on sale. Use the discount code DOGMAN. I'll put the link below. I would not steer you wrong. I'm going to tell you that is a nice little grill. And, uh, whoo, it's heavy. I mean, it's 50 pounds, so be prepared. I mean, but they. Cheap things are light, good things are heavy. Yep. But man, does that, oh. And it has that seal around it on the top and the bottom of the lid, and it just locks all that stuff in there. The flavor uh, does really good. I would have had a better time had I had better charcoal, but <sighs> that was the last bag on the shelf. And maybe I should have went to the dollar store. I don't know, that thing's still out there. It's a smoking good, see it? <laughs> so I would highly remember and they're they're under 200 bucks I mean there's there's not a lot of grills you can buy especially that quality for that price uh, so check it out and uh, let them know dog man sent you and uh, they got them in, in three colors I believe I could be wrong I know it's in black green and and red and it may have more colors I don't know I like the green so I'm going to eat, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe. Remember, 50% of my revenue this month goes to Fur Furry Tales Rescue. So make sure you watch all my videos on all my channels. And it just helps the dogs out. Thanks for watching. Happy trails. Woo, rooster, if you only knew.